Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today we're talking moonology. Hi, my name is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman. I'm an intuitive psychic medium here in the Sugarland area. That's just outside of Houston. When I was a little girl, I fell in love with our moon, and ever since, I have been energetically drawn to moon energy. I have studied moonology for quite a while, plus I enjoy teaching others about the different energies of each moon phase. Then combining that energy with our current moon sign, and you will come away with a great understanding of how both these energies will combine to influence each of us in unusual ways. If you like my content, please subscribe, like, and share. That's right. Today we are talking about our new moon in the sign of Pisces for February 20th, 2023. And really our Pisces moon kind of makes us a little dreamier, a little romantic, and it can also kind of bring up a lot of sensitivity and a lot of um, romantic gestures. So it's kind of like, wow, this can be really interesting. Make sure your perception is ready to go about your surroundings, kind of what's going on around you. Uh, but also you may be feeling a little bit like insecure, especially when we start talking about romance. Sometimes that can bring up a lot of insecurities as well, but know that that's kind of just typically, um, you know, the typical for a Pisces moon. And then this one being a new moon, it's going to be really extra strong. And it's one of those, if you're ready to engage and be creative and add that spiritual touch, maybe this is a great time to do a couple extra meditations during this moon phase. Um, this will really benefit you in kind of opening up your creativity and your imagination as well. Um, I will tell you, this is a great time to start things. So this is, like I said, this is a great time to do those meditations. New moons are all about new beginnings, new action, new starts. So what is it that you want to bring your creativity into? What is it that you want to bring your imagination into? So kind of opening up to all of that. And if insecurities come up, just know that that's part of it and just release it and let it go. I think that makes it a little bit easier for a a lot of people. Um, I will tell you too that um, engaging in um, a lot of creativity during this time frame, opening up to kind of like what's coming in in the new moon, in the in the new with the new moon, and opening up to that energy can be quite amazing. So I think that's just one of those amazing parts about new moons. So let's pull some angel cards and get us a little bit deeper insight into all things new moon in the sign of Pisces. This one is popping forward first. And this is all about healing. Like I said, when we feel insecure, a lot of times our um, healing is actually coming around or we're kind of working on our healing stuff, which can bring that insecurity up because that's what was the beginning of or the roots of that energy was bringing up that insecurity. But once we kind of work through it, things will get easier. They really will. Um, next is divine guidance. Um, it's divinely guided to kind of start some new things during this time frame, even if you're just kind of like idea shopping or you're kind of getting ready for things to start. That can be really fun and allow that energy. Get into something creative. If there's uh, something online or something you want to watch or try, make sure that you're getting into that energy and make sure you're trying something new and kind of adding to your new moon energy. Next, our dreams. Our dreams are going to be affected. Like I said, it's kind of that dreamy romantic uh, um, energy with Pisces in there. And it's one of those, sometimes we can feel like we're going in two directions at the same time. So sometimes taking a little bit extra time with our dreams or trying to understand them can add a lot of inf uh, insight into us. Spiritual growth. I love this card. Spiritual growth is one of those amazing cards that comes through um, ever so often. I wish it would come up more often, but spiritual growth, that's what I said, is talking about like your meditations and opening it up to that energy and what else are you ready to learn or move into? That can be something that can really um, kind of allow you to come forward and really allow changes to start. Okay, this is Archangel Michael and Archangel Michael is all about our security. And so if those insecurities come up, make sure that you're calling on Archangel Michael, but he is also such an amazing energy. And I just resonate with that so much. And I know so, so, so many people from different religions that call on Archangel Michael a lot to kind of find out um, information or kind of get a heads up of what's about to start or come in. So know that Archangel Michael is changing things around us. This one is celebration. It's always a great time to celebrate during a new moon. It is amazing. Make sure that you are doing your new moon rituals, kind of starting something new, really thinking about things. I will attach my new moon uh, rituals uh, video to this because it's a great time to add that energy to what's already going on. Even if you're just dreaming kind of at this stage, that can be a great one, not only for you, but others around you as well.
Thank you so much for joining me today, and I know that we'll be talking again soon.